Scott and Bella head over to meet with Gizzy and autism specialist Julie. Julie's worried some items on Gizzy's menu may be too challenging for the autistic volunteers. We've got about six key recipes on, on the menu. Three of them are sandwiches, we've got a soup and then there's two hot dishes. We're doing a lasagna. It's a slow roasted lamb ragu in the lasagna. And I think that's going to be quite challenging. I think it's going to be very challenging, actually, because we've only got one day, really, to train all the volunteers. It's one training day. Is that enough? We're going to find it quite difficult, really. I'm actually really glad that the menu is quite challenging because the whole point of my cafe is so these people with autism can prove to everyone how capable they are. It's the day before the cafe opening. With Scott away DJing, Bella meets up with Gizzy for the training day. You're excited. Really, really excited. All of the volunteers are on various levels of the autistic spectrum, from those who have lower communication and social skills to those who have Asperger's like Julia, and those who need structure and routine like Harry. I just want to thank you all so much for volunteering to be a part of this. I'm going to be able to give you some skills that are going to be able to be utilised in this cafe that we're all going to be running together. Hopefully, tomorrow, we're going to be really going out there and making Billy's Cafe a big success. Volunteer Julia has worked before, but she sometimes finds it difficult to follow through on instructions. In a work capacity, let's say, what, what do you think would be a regular problem that you would have? I mean, I'm able to understand instructions, but if I, I don't know, make a mistake or something, they just think uh, she hasn't listened or something on that line. Yeah, because, I mean, I would never know if I just met you that either of you two were autistic. Sorry. <laughs> the soup, I think, I'm more worried about. Heat and flames and everything. Hopefully not burning the cafe down. <laughs> Give it to Willie. Harder. Harry is one of the staff that are working here, and... He particularly sees his autism as a really, really positive thing. Harry's never worked before and he's desperate to get his first proper job. Yeah, so I'm uh, very uh, I'm, uh, excited. I hope to get more work experience from it and hopefully I can achieve in the future perhaps to get a job. There we go. I just hope really that they're going to be able to cope with it all tomorrow. So It'll be interesting to see how we all handle things under a bit of pressure. I know that all the volunteers that are working here, they really want to prove to employers that they are capable. And I just think it's really, really important that they see the capabilities. And if not, then, I don't know, it'd just be a disaster, really.